so that so let me uh, repeat to the revision for you you can remember for this uh, social costs first we'll tell uh, introduction of social reform like abolition of sati forbidding child marriage infanticide polygamy and legislations of widow remarriage the introduction of railways and the telegraph lines the policy of social discrimination followed by the british so these are things that are made to indian people to miserable should be miserable like now religious causes the interference with the local religious and social customs of the indians the introduction of the religious disabilities act 1850 which changed the hindu law of property and allowed the convert from hindu hinduism to other religious to inherit the property of one's fathers this was regarded as a encouragement to give of one's religious faith the widow mar remarriage act which gave the widows to right to marry again the british government support to the christian missionaries taxing the lands belonging to temples and mosques now economic causes india was made an agriculture colony of the british though which they acquired cheap raw materials for their industries in britain and a big market to sell their finished product at higher rates drain of wealth from india to england for which india got no proportionate economic return where only india has got only raw materials bank sources india has sources for the british whatever they want they will take from india that's why we the group even dada dada, dada bhai navroji said drain brain that means they made everything drain from india what are the health you had resources like a gold mine coal mine iron ore everything they looted like nobody has have guts to ask them so like that the economic causes india was made an agriculture colony of the british through which they acquired cheap raw materials of their industries in britain and a big market to sell their finished product in higher rates drain of wealth from india to england in which india got proportionate economic return decline of traditional indian cottage and handicrafts industry miserable condition of the peasants cost by exorbitant land revenue and their subsequent eviction from their land growing unemployment among scholars preachers artists soldiers and officials who were partitioned by the native rulers who state were annexed by the british in human treatment a method of the indigo cultivators decline of landed autocracy because their estate were confiscated by the britishers now military causes you know that military causes due to royal enfield rifle introduction in the uh, british army the indian soldiers whether is muslim or indian so man to bite their bullet with their mouth because that is greased with cow fat as well as pig fat the uh, hindus are worship cow 
and Muslims at peak. So that is sentiment of the Indian people, religious as well as Hindu and Muslims. So that's why the causes happen, military causes. The Indian soldiers were poorly paid, ill-fed, badly housed and not allowed to wear their caste or sectarian marks. According to the provisions of the General Service Enlistment Act 1856, the Indian soldiers were required to serve anywhere, even overseas, which was considered as a taboo by the Indians, especially Brahmins. Indian soldiers had bleak prospects of promotion. Indian soldiers were not paid extra payment or beta even when they were made to serve in areas away from their homelands. So immediate causes of military causes. What I told you, I am going to repeat that. The goddages used in the newly introduced Enfield rifle were said to be greased with the fat of cows or pigs. The greased paper was the goddages had to be bitten off with teeth before loading them in the rifle. The use of these cottages angered both Hindu as well as the Muslim sepoys because cow is sacred of Hindus and a pig is a, a taboo to the Muslims. They saw in it an attempt to defile the religions. That's why it has happened. The consequences of the uprising, that is, in fact, the end of the rule of the East India Company by the Government of India Act of 1858, the British Crown assumed the direct responsibility of the Government of India by Queen Victoria's Proclamations 1858. The recognition, reorganization, sorry, reorganization of the Indian Army to prevent the reoccurrence of another uprising, the end of the era of territorial expansions and economic exploitations, abolition of Peshwaship, end of the rule of Mughal dynasty. Now we'll come to drawbacks of the first war of independence. Our causes and failures. There is causes happen and failure. Causes why this happened, the infield rifle causes. And failure, there is no leader to guide the Indians, Indian people. Proper leadership, proper planning, that's just happened. A lack of planning, organizations and centralized leadership. Lack of common goal except for the anti-foreign sentiments. Superior resources of the British in terms of men, money and materials. The British had the telegraph, the postal system and other means of communications under their control. Lacks of nationwide dimensions. Some of the rulers of the Indian states remained loyal to British, the British and helped them in suppressing the movement. Some sections of the Indian society, like the big merchants, the money lenders, some jamindas and sections of educated Indians did not support the movement. The beginning of the uprising before the fixed date, that is May 31st, 1857, disorganized the whole moment. So in this the important leaders, uh, let me tell you about this uh, place and leaders, names. First, Badusha Jaffa, Delhi, Rani Lakshmi Boy, Jansi. Third one, uh, Kunwar Singh, uh, Bihar. 
फोर्थ वन मौलवी अहमदुल्ला फैजाबाद फिफ्थ वन बैगम अजरत महल लखनऊ सिक्स वन नाना साइफ आजमुल्ला कानपुर सेवेंथ वन चांडिया टॉप कॉलियर एट वन राव तुलाराम हरियाणा नाइन्थ वन सुरेंद्र सॉय संबलपुर टेंथ वन कौन बहादुर खान बरेली सो दीज लीडर्स आर फाउट अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिशर्स विच लेड टू फर्स्ट वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस सो दिस इज अ चैप्टर मैनिंग यू फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर द इकोनॉमिक कॉसेस पोलिटिकल कॉसेस इमीडिएट कॉसेस एंड इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द मिलिट्री कॉसेस इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द पोलिटिकल कॉसेस इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक कॉसेस सो यू हैव टू लैंड फॉर यूर एग्जाम सो यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल दिस एवरी a week you will get till exam is going uh, going to come so you have to prepare for this so go through you will thoroughly you will get knowledge and don't be panic when board exams come for 10th standard nothing to worry you go through whatever i given the lesson yes go through don't read complete chapters even if you are in textbook there is a summary is there just you can go through that what what should be learned what should be for exam even syllabus book we have in that what are the requirement is there for your exam you go through that so easily find out but what to read what to, not to read for your knowledge i am explaining you for your exam what are the important i am telling you you, you go through that only so you can easily score marks right good morning class stay safe stay at home